Oh, nice. Get a little fight. Alright, so pretty much today, I just wanted to showcase a few of my unobtainable builds that I have. Because, you know, I've been playing a ton since Verse 2 dropped, so I've been able to get a ton of random unobtainable builds. So, um, first of all, I've got this, uh, this is meant to be my max regen build. I still haven't finished this, I've this build for ages and I've finished it. But I have a passed out Flame Wisp. So you can see, i got no Flame Charm, but I still kept the level 5 Flame Wisp. So, pretty much, I know for this build is, I went kind of just for, um, as much healing as I could get, and yeah, I mean, it's with the pass down flame, it makes it unattainable, also increasing the regen like significantly. Um, I think I'm gonna have probably, I'm gonna probably finish this build soon and then have a showcase out on it because this build has devious healing. Let me just like, I got Blood Shadow, Conditioned Runner, and I have Saint J as well. Yeah, Saint J, like the healing goes crazy and I could also get like bloodlesses and stuff anyway on to the next build all right so um basically this build this is the agile flames grand city risk build I already have a build to showcase out on it with all the stats and everything um that's from like ages ago and now it's unobtainable so like if you were to make this build now you would miss out on a few talents and you would be able to get like level 5 mantras and stuff like I have a level 5 fire blade Level 5 Flame Wisp and Level 5 Fire Palm, which you wouldn't be able to do now. Like, because they'll definitely make this build, but probably just get rid of the willpower or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool though, and I'm going to have like PvP clips and stuff on each build. Probably at the beginning, so, you know, you'll be able to see it then in um, some PvP. Anyway, that's about it for this build. Um, Alright, so uh, this is my next unobtainable build. And it's another pass down mantra slot. Um, I don't know why I'm at Primer. I mean, I guess <laughs> I can just showcase this build here. I guess. I mean, um, I think it's a void eye. Alright, so um, pretty much for this build, um, it's another pass down mantra build. And what it is is so a level five eclipse kick with like obviously no shadow, and it's a gale breath build. Another cool thing with this build is 29 HP night Town. Which is pretty good. Um, yeah, this build also has Animal King, which is pretty nice because, like, I don't know, I don't know how many people were able to pass on a match and get Animal King, but I feel like that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, that's about it for this build. I also have more videos on this build if you're interested. I have like progression videos and um, I think I, yeah, PP clip as well, and maybe a build showcase. I can't remember what I did, but yeah. Um, Anyway, <laughs> on to my next unattainable build. Alright, so now, this build... Um, this is actually a really cool build. I need to change some stuff on it, because um, when I was making it, I didn't get like the mantras I wanted and stuff. But this build is actually really good. So, um, pretty much, what this build is, is... Um, so, it's a pre nerf sh shrine curve blade build. So, the stats I went pre-shrine, I went 75 agility, and then like... 
60 willpower, 40 intelligence, I think, something like that. Which, if you did that now, you'd have still have like a ton of agility left. Like you'd have like 60 agility, and you still have like 60 willpower, and then you'd, you'd have like 25 intelligence. So it's pretty nice just to have. You know, if I could fix up this build, then it'd actually be like very good in PvP. But anyway, as for like the stats, I don't really have too much crazy equipment on here. I guess I have this 35 HP Iron Singer. That's like the best thing. I also have a curved blade, obviously. Anyway, so the talents I have, I have Overflowing Damn Perfect Flash. You'd be able to do that now with Shrine. But the ones you wouldn't be able to get, so Invasion Expert, like you would. So Ghost, I guess you could still get Ghost. But then I've got also, I've got Tap Dancer. Um. Yeah, tap dancer and then agility unbound. So this was basically I did this is the first shrine build I did and I was just testing if I'm unbound. Because pre verse two unbound cards used to give like plus eight HP, so I was testing. But they removed that. So yeah. And I've got all the dead gods, which you wouldn't be able to do now. Well, you wouldn't be able to do that and have like these stats. So you'd miss out on like M one damage or something. Or maybe like levels of go with Metro's. Um, cheap shot as well. What's this guy doing? Bro? Um, anyway, on to the next build. This is another. This is um, a two minute silent heart, which you can't do anymore. Which I went Crypt Blade. It's Aster's build right here. The Aster build. I also have a build showcase and stuff on like this. Yeah, talents are pretty basic. It's not like a shrine build or anything. I'll just cycle through these real quick. The next unobtainable Silent Heart build I have, I'll showcase that now as well. Alright, now this build, this was actually pretty interesting. The Max Dread and Glacier Lock active, I just, Duke does no damage to me. Like, I'm gonna I'm go showcase it real quick. I don't know if at Max Dread you just take no damage from Duke. But like, I'm gonna showcase it anyway, because that's like a cool thing about this build. Is it's just like, a lot of damage resistance. Also, I'll showcase like a clip of it, um, at the start. I'll just use like an old PvP clip. But you, before Ankle Cutter got nerfed, you used to just be able to infinitely Ankle Cutter if there was ice on the floor. Because of um, how far you said the bit, which is pretty funny. But yeah, you can't do it anymore because they nerfed it. You know, they should undo that nerf, for real. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to showcase me um, taking the damage from Duke real quick. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, I was trying to show showcase all my unobtainable builds real quick. Since, um, I don't know, it's really cool that I have a bunch of random unobtainable builds. So I thought I'd just show them off a bit. But yeah, um, that's going to be all for the video. Uh, subscribe now, or else. And uh, yeah, see ya.